guys welcome to my channel my name is Nyla and this is my first first video at first I was gonna do a Q&A but more people on my Instagram told me that I should do a hair video so my hair type is 4C and I've been on this hair journey for about I'm gonna say two years a year since I've been growing it back and like two years since I've been trying to find out what works for my hair what's best for me and my hair and things in that nature it took like i used to watch videos and youtube videos and things like that and then i just had to basically like learn my hair on my own so all these tips i'm going to be giving you guys today is basically about 4c hair because i'm not too familiar with any other type of texture hair so if you have 4c hair this will be very very helpful like you just have to be patient with your hair so i'm gonna start off by saying that i had heat damage really bad i cut my hair so that um well not so that i cut my hair because it was heat damaged in the back of my head like like i basically had like a patch in the back of my head that was just heat damage so i'm like okay i'm not gonna put no more heat to my head my hair was growing everywhere else but like in the patch of my head so i basically went to the barbershop and i was like i'm gonna cut my hair i'm gonna cut my hair i was procrastinating i would go in the barbershop leave the barbershop i did not know if i wanted to cut my hair then I had cut my hair, so I basically had my hair cut from like all of this all the way around. And then I was on some tomboyish type of thing, so it was cute or whatever, you know, with my little outfits. It was cute, so I was rocking that for like a year. Then I wanted my hair back. Guys, if you go from a big chop and you're trying to go your hair back, that has to be like the most aggravating thing. Like, I was wearing a hat everywhere you could not tell me nothing interviews the job i have now i wear a hat i mean no the job i have now i wore a hat on my interview dates family functions parties wherever i could wear a hat at, i wore my hat like it was bad i it just looked so nasty when it was time to grow back but i just had to stay strong like nyla don't cut your hair nyla don't cut your hair you want it to grow back you want it to grow back and it it took everything in me like not to cut my hair i'm gonna show you guys um a few products that i found that really works really good with my hair um i'm gonna show you guys show you guys some shampoo so i use well this is not the shampoo but i use um cream of nature the brand this is really good you put this on before you wash your hair it's so good guys like i keep it on i keep it in my hair for like two hours an hour because my hair is super super thick so i'll be trying to make sure i restore all type all moisture especially if i had a hair a braids in my hair um i make sure i try to restore all the moisture as i can and then i also put this in it i also put that in it while the clay mask is in my hair and i let it sit for the two hours um then i use this which is the conditioner and the shampoo i use this all the time this is like this right here is my crack y'all crack this is 4c people hair crack this cream of nature works it smells so good like it smells so good um what else do i use oh i use this grease sorry don't mind the time i dropped it but i use the grease my mom had got this for me it really works really good i use this grease and i use the cash oil so basically after i wash my hair i would put this grease in it and i would put the cash oil and i also put even though my hair is thick, thick a lot of people say oh you don't need heat protector you don't need heat protector but i still use heat protector so i use this heat protector and then i blow dry it and then i put it in sections and i braid it up and then i probably go get my hair braided I haven't, I just, just started using heat in my hair again. That's why I bought the heat protector because I had stopped using heat in my hair because heat is not good for your hair. Also, a lot of people think that water doesn't work for your hair. Water is like, water is our crack too. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Whatever you do, put water in your hair. Water helps your hair. Water gives your hair moisture. Like, even if, like, you grease your hair with the water and everything, it's still good. Um, I would recommend, like, if you're growing back your hair from a big chop, 
to basically don't cut your ends yet don't be in a rush to cut your ends i literally just cut my ends like yesterday for the first time in a year because i wanted to make sure my hair got to a decent length to see how much growth is and my ends were super super choppy that's why i cut them and i didn't know how to cut them myself so this is also my first washing set in a year and i did make the lady use my heat protector to make sure that my hair does not get heat damaged again because that, that is my worst fear i also recommend that if you are trying to get your hair back um to do a big chop because to try to get your hair back to normal with all the damage in it i feel like it's just gonna take longer i feel like you should just do the big chop and get it over with um for boys i you guys can do it like a boys and girls i should say can do a lot of protective styles that's what i did i wasn't in my hair as much i would literally braid up my hair and leave braids in my hair grease my hair also moisture is key guys moisturize your hair i work a lot so trust me i know like you don't have time to moisture especially if you have kids you don't have time to moisturize you know school sports or whatever you're into you don't have time to moisturize your hair but trust me guys take out the time and moisturize your hair especially when you have it in a protective style or when you have it in braids i suggest that also wide tooth comb guys wide tooth combs are key if you're not gonna if you don't have time to finger detangle do a wide tooth comb part your hair in sections and take the time out i always run out of conditioner first before i run out of shampoo because i dump a bunch of conditioner in my hair and i finger detangle so that takes up time but sometimes i do use this comb which is a wide tooth comb you can get at your local beauty supply store so that's basically it also so this is my hair with this is my hair with a year of growth like this is a full year of me not um of me growing back my hair from the big chop i will be including pictures and everything inside of the video so you guys can see picture right here is when i first had cut my hair september 2017 this is when my hair i cut my hair more and then this is when i cut the perm out of my hair Also, I will be doing a giveaway when I get 500 subscribers. I'm not going to reveal what I am giving away, but it will be a good it will be a good prize. It will be worth it. Two people can win, a boy and a girl. All you have to do is subscribe, turn on your post notifications and comment in the comments. Also, I am very good with criticism, so let me know where I messed up at. Tell me more videos you guys want to see. Tell me how I did. I'm super 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 nervous but tell me how i did on my first video guys um also if you're gonna follow these rules let me know how it went for you like keep me posted be get on my nerves write me tell me what if you made a mistake or if you have any if you have any more questions do twists do braids that do do braid outs get your hair braided make sure your hair is not too tight if you have weak edges like how i have weak edges Trust me, don't let them braid your edges because they will try to pull out your edges. Tell them to keep your edges out and you keep your edges moisturized. So I hope these tips work for you guys. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.